Well, here we are. <laughs> the NBA playoffs, man. You got a uh, an interesting one this year. It's been it's been an interesting season. I've watched way more games than I did last year. I watched way more games. You know, because things things just turned out the way they turned out. And I mean, it's been a surprise this year the way things have turned out. Like I don't think anybody expected some of this stuff. I don't think anybody expected it, but yet here we are. Here we are, and the playoffs are set. Uh, you know, there, there's a uh, there, there's a there's a lot going on. You know, when it comes to the first round. So why don't we break down all these matchups first? Uh, we have the play-in. And the plan is going to be, uh, first up, it will be the April 12th games between Cleveland and Brooklyn. Um, winner will move on to be the 7th seed to take on the Celtics. And that's going to be one hell of a matchup between the Nets and the Cavs. Cavs are definitely an underrated team. You know, Brooklyn Nets, they have Kyrie, they have Kevin Durant. You know, things have been clicking for the Nets at the right time. Because remember, the Nets had stretches during the season where they did not look too good. The Cavs have been kind of underrated throughout the entire season, you know. Uh, and then you have L.A., the Clippers, not the Lakers. The Lakers missed the playoffs in one of the worst, what, what, definitely one of the more bizarre things I think I've seen in quite some time. LeBron not even going to the playoffs. Uh, it's kind of sad, really, because, I mean, again, this is the Lakers team that had all this talent and stuff like that, and they just could not deliver it. But the Clippers, the particular and underrated Minnesota Timberwolves team in that second part of the doubleheader on April 12th. And then April 13th, you got Charlotte and Atlanta. Both teams, you know, I originally thought that Atlanta was going to be like under 500, but yet they turned it around completely. Charlotte also over 500. They've completely turned it around as well. Remember, Charlotte and Atlanta, they are the, you know, they are the 9 10 seeds. So, whoever loses, they ain't going nowhere. They're going to the couch. Um, and then San Antonio, New Orleans, um, you know, there's nothing really for me to talk about there because, I mean, again, San Antonio, New Orleans, they are not very good teams. I think whoever wins this play in. You know, he's, he's going to probably lose the second part of the play-in, which is on April the 15th. Both of those, uh, the winner of, you know, the 7-8 game will move on to be the 7th seed. The 8 will take on either the 9 or the 10 in the second part of the play-in on April the 15th for both sides of the conference. And, you know... It is what it is there. In all honesty, I'm, I'm just... I, 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 don't know how, I don't know how. I don't know how we, we're getting to this point, you know. But, you know, I think I think the West is a little bit weaker this year, definitely. Um, but, I mean, you know, there's a lot. There's a lot of talented teams in the East as well, personally. So, you know, you got... You got some interesting matchups that could be made here for the first round, at least for the Heat, who won the East, or at least clinched first place in the East. Uh, so, I mean, whoever will be that eighth seed, whoever will be that eighth seed, it could be the Nets, it could be the Cavs, it could be the Hawks, or even the Hornets. It, it really depends. And the Celtics could take on either the Nets, the Cavs. It depends again on how that works out. You know, the play-in. Bucks will take on the Bulls. The 76ers will take on the Raptors. There is a situation involving uh, a player um, for the 76ers and Raptors, and I forgot which which player it was. But um, yeah, um, and then the out west, the Suns take on the Spurs or Pelicans or Clippers or T Wolves. It really depends. I think it's more. I think it's more either the Clippers or the Timberwolves. I, I might have forgotten. And then you know the Grizzlies. It's either going to be the Clippers or the Timberwolves. And then Warriors, Nuggets, Mavs, Jazz. Going to be fun. 
cannot wait for all that. And I think the season in general, again, you know, again, I think, you know, the whole LeBron and the Lakers just completely messing it up, you know, and bungling it up have been one of the most bizarre things I've seen in quite some time because they had it. They, they had it. They had, they had something and it just didn't work out. It just doesn't make any sense. But honestly, you know, when it comes, when it comes to the playoffs, when it comes to my predictions, I think, you know, I think personally, personally, at the end of the day, I think we're going to have a finals of... I really want, you know, I honestly want the Sun Celtics matchup. Like I, I, I'm feeling it. I, I'm feeling it. Like I was, I was originally gonna say like Grizzly Celtics or something like that, but I was like, nah. But I, I think the Suns have all the capabilities there. I haven't really touched up on the Heat because I don't think I've watched the Heat game this year. But I think the Celtics really have what it takes. You know, I, I don't want to see a rematch of Bucks Suns. You know, like, I, like honestly, like you, you could say like the Warriors could make it. Um, the Mavs now Luca did hurt himself tonight, so I, I'm kind of you know kind of iffy on that right now. But I mean, I, I'm I'm trying to make like an actual prediction here, and it's it's kind of hard because I mean you know I, I really want to say you know like I really want to I really want to say the Suns are going to go to DBA finals. I, I really think I really think they will coming out the West, but the East is a little bit harder to you know get because I mean you know. Like the Grizzlies are, you know, like the. Like, uh, well, let's talk about the West real quick for a minute here. Like the Grizzlies are pretty good. The Warriors are still pretty good. You got Joker out with Nuggets. The Jazz are a fun team. A lot of people are underrated. The Jazz for some reason I don't know why. Um, and the Babs are they're good, but you know, again, that Luka injury could affect them. And you know, like. Again, the East is, is a lot harder because, I mean, there's, like, you could legit put a path for everybody in the East. Like, Cavs, they are no slouch. No slouch at all. Like, Bucks, we know they're good. The Bulls are good. The 76ers are good. The Raptors are good. The Heat are good. Like, uh, all these, like, 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 all 10 of these teams in the East, they're pretty good. They're pretty good teams. So it's just the conundrum of trying to find, you know, somebody, you know, that could go out from the East and take off the Suns. Because I really think the Suns Warriors will meet up in the um, in the Western Conference Finals. I really think that's going to happen. And then, you know, out in the East, I just don't know. Like, I'll, 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 I'm betting, like, I, I'll just roll with it. I'll just roll with it and say Suns Celtics. And be completely wrong. So that's my prediction for who's going to the NBA Finals. I think, you know, I think there's going to be some surprises in here, you know, especially the play in. But I think, I think the Celtics have the tools. They have the tools. They have, they have what it takes. I'm, I'm not sold on the Heat just yet because I haven't watched them play this year. That's really the only reason, you know. And, you know, like, I, 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 God, I, 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 I don't want to see a Heat Suns um, NBA Finals. I think a Celtics Suns Finals would be much more intriguing. I think the Suns finally get themselves a title. I really think this year the Suns should get it. You know, Devin Booker, Chris Paul, DeAndre Ayton, Devin, you know, despite the fact that they've been, those guys have been, you know, injured at times throughout the year, you know, other guys have stepped up, you know, like, it's one thing to say, you know, like Clay Thompson's been injured throughout the year, and so Steph, you know, Steph Curry, he's been injured throughout the year, but it's one thing to say that the Warriors have been injured. You know, it's another thing to say the Suns have been injured, but they still won over 60 games. So, and, and, I, and again, like I said, I think the real NBA Finals will be, you know, the Suns, the Warriors in the Western Conference Finals. I, I genuinely don't know who's going to come out the East. I think it'll be a bloodbath in the East. Um... Uh, you know, 
we got some interesting first round matchups. I'll say that much. Um, again, there's again there's a couple of underrated teams in here. You know, like like the Timberwolves are underrated. They can give the Grizzlies fits or the Suns it depends. You know on how things work out, but yeah. And then, you know, the East, again, the East is just going to be a bloodbath. I genu- Again, I just don't know. But uh, I'll, I'll save all that for the end. And I'll see you all back in May when we talk about the NBA Finals. I, again, this is not too much of a, you know, bad prediction. But uh, I, you know, it's probably going to be terrible. It's probably going to be outdated by the time the NBA Finals come around. And watch it be, you know, two completely different teams in the NBA Finals. Like it was last year, because remember last year I picked Brooklyn and the Lakers to make it to the NBA Finals. But I think, you know, I think this year I think I'll have a little bit better of a chance. You know, I really think the Suns will come out the West. And again, uh, I'm picking the Celtics to come out the East. So, there you go. Enjoy the play-in. Enjoy the NBA playoffs. We got a long two months ahead. Cannot wait. I'll see you in late May to talk the NBA Finals.